They run up and send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now out come the Steelers. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Pick it now from the gun here. Shakes off the sack. He's got a man complete. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down at the 20. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 54 yards. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Back to throw, pick it. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Out there is Rodrigo Blankenship in the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. Blankenship's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Love, they go play action now. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. An inside give to Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here's third and six. Love. Incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. The 20! And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big pickup of 38. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. 
Now pick it. And that one too wide and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Looking to throw, pick it. He's got his tight end, Fryermuth, over the middle. Oh, and he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line, and they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. So close yet so far, and that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here. And it's intercepted. He's on his way. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Let's go, let's go. That one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on the list not at all you and you come out of the locker room trailing so that first drive to establish momentum is very key crucial and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. here's second and seven love now flush to his right that's hauled in by musgrave for the packer touchdown from 13 yards out. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Carlson's extra point up and good, and the lead is up to 18 now. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Pickett. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Deontay Jackson, 72 yards. And the Steelers get a bit closer. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, 
he recognized that they were all over that, so he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and it makes the score 21-10. to Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Christian Watson, the man he was looking for. And now it's second down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now a second down throw for Love here. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, Guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Play action this time with Love. Buying time to his left. Open man, here is Cobb. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Love looking to throw it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now Love. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So off goes Love on his Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is good. And the lead grows to 14 and 24 to 10. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game, but as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer Muth. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. He's got his tight end, Fryermuth, right side. And Fryermuth going to have a Steelers first down as he'll get this down to the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A run with Harris. 
Harris out of the shotgun. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second down, here's Pickett. Pickens on the slant. He's got room to roam. And finally down at the nine-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, here's Pickett. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. On the give, this is Harris. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the 40-yard line. Third and goal. Keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Pick it back to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And into the end, touchdown. Well, no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that have made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. Big-time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level, and they can change a game. moment's notice. Carlson on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. turn as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. But it's intercepted. They got Pickett for the third time in this game. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in a second. season he has to start ironing out some of these mistakes though because now his head coach his offensive coaches they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it or you start thinking about going to his backup and he'll work down inside the 45 from the 44 yard line here second down and eight they'll go again to Jones and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39 Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. 
In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Love going to stay out there. They'll take a chance on fourth down. They'll run it with Jones. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their 36-yard line. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. A boost here to start the drive. After the penalty, it's first and five. Pickett. Got an open man. It's Pickens. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First and ten, it's Pickett. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two. It's the final tally. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. They'll throw again with Pickett. He's got this to Pickens. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. George Pickens, 26 yards. And the Steelers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and the lead will be cut down to 14. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Again, it's Jones. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a great job on special teams to doubt it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. 
That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Pick it to throw. That's to Fryer well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and 10 here. Pass complete to Harris. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Second and six coming up. And this one is incomplete. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Rasul Douglas picks it. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, that's to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for Green Bay, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the week. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, they'll lose an important one here as that drops them to 5-4 and four on the season. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.